What's up everyone, how are you doing? And welcome back to another video. I'm glad to see your beautiful face here because I have something really important to share with you guys. Now, in today's video, I kind of want to keep it short and sweet, but I want to tell you guys the two tools I use with every single web dev project that just makes my experience and makes the website I produce much, much better than I initially assumed. When I was learning web development, I always assumed that if I come up with a website idea, I'm just going to code it and it will be perfect. And that's what I thought. With experience and with being exposed to creating all these freelance websites for clients and for other people, I realized that the initial thought that you have is usually the one that doesn't get selected. I'm just going to jump right into the point and I'm going to explain to you guys why these are so extremely important in becoming the best web developer that you can be. These tools are something that will take you to the next level and take you that step further to be really, really good and to produce really, really good, highly rated websites, portfolios, whatever you might be doing. So the first tool that I use is Adobe XD. Now I can't stress how important it is to prototype. Whenever you're designing any website, any component, you're freelancing for someone or for yourself, it's so important to put your initial ideas, as I like to call it on paper, but actually in Adobe XD, or for this reason, any other prototyping program like Figma. But I'm a fan of Adobe XD. That's what I use on a daily basis to do all my prototyping. Now, with every single company that you might work for or any client that you might work for, they will always ask you for a website prototype. As a web developer, you need to have an understanding of prototyping tools. You need to know how to use micro interactions to simulate how people would interact with the website. So many people believe that when you're saying you spend all this time prototyping, it's wasted time. But actually, it always turns out to be time that has been saved. As an example, you might think that the website you've designed and the color scheme that you've picked will look great for this specific company or this specific person or this specific website that you're creating for a product. You spend time coding it, you create everything, and then you look at the website and it just doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem to be the thing that you wanted to create in the first place. Now with prototyping, you get to sit down and you get to visualize that thing, which is also much faster to create than actually coding it. And then you're able to decide if this is actually what you want. You're able to send this prototype to your clients and to have their feedback. Now that is something that actually saves a lot of time and every single good web developer should use and should have that skill to prototype, to be able to design and implement things before they actually put them into code. And you just need to have that solid fundamental plan of what you're going to make. The second tool that I use for every single web dev project, every single one of them is Hotjar. Now I can proudly say that Hotjar is actually sponsoring this video, but by no means this is uh, an encouragement for me to advertise Hotjar. I've used Hotjar way before they even reached out to me. And it's a tool that's so fantastic for analyzing your website interactions that it has literally proven my design principles wrong so many times. And it actually made my websites so much better when it comes to user experience. So you might ask me, how does Hotjar actually work? So it's kind of like Google Analytics. You embed a link in your head tag and you're able to track user interactions of your websites. In the same way like Google Analytics, which only allows you to track how many people visited your page, what their region was, and just really basic numeral uh, values that stand for certain analytics, Hotjar actually tracks specific user interactions on your page. Now, Hotjar has so many cool features that I think are absolutely fantastic in analyzing your user interaction and user feedback, which kind of translates into how well have you designed your website? The first feature that Hotjar offers that I absolutely love are heat maps, where you can actually view where a user clicks, moves, and interacts with your UI design and what attracts their attention and what doesn't. And all that data is visualized as a heat map on your page that just showcases how your design attracts the user interaction, what they click, what seems to stand out, view any behavioral changes, and see where user attention drops, what doesn't appeal to the user as much. Now, the other feature that I think is super powerful is to ask for user feedback on specific features on your site. So as an example, you might have a website that offers certain plans 
and pricing for those plans. And you might want to see how the user interacted with those pricing plans. And then you can ask for feedback. Now you can manage that feedback by detecting a user interaction. And then Hotjar will provide you with a little pop-up box that will ask for user experience and ask for their feedback. So you're actually collecting all this data from so many different users about your site and getting a lot of opinions that you might not necessarily have known about previously. Now, when it comes to user interactions, I was always blown away how much feedback I got from Hotjar and how important user data and stats is when it comes to designing the ultimate user experience on your websites. Now, of course, you can go and try Hotjar for free, but with the link in my description, you're going to get three months for free of the business plan, which will give you access to all those features and more. So why not go and try it and play around with it and see and prove to yourself how much your website design might change uh, when you actually get that feedback. Now, Adobe XD and Hotjar are fundamental tools in my web developer tool bag. Uh, and I hope this video kind of gave you insight into why those tools are extremely important and how they can be important and how you can benefit from them. Now, as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you always got something out of it. If you liked the video and you learned something new, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. But for now, guys, as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.